Okay, I wanted to be I wanted this to be quickly chronicled. So we turned my PS3 on and we load up the save file and now I'm earning an amount of trophies because we're using Brandon's account right now. This is extremely fucking funny. Like, yeah, we're gonna be cycling for a bit. Also, yeah, uh it just it's working now. Uh no issues, so maybe it is the HDMI out on your PS3? I don't know. I think it's too soon to judge. This thing's been very erratic. My PS3 has been through the ringer. It's been through multiple uh, moves and being used uh, after and during each move. Yeah, that's true. It has seen a lot of wear and tear. You could probably get it fixed if you wanted to get it looked at, maybe. You think Gurus does that sort of thing? Uh, No, that seems like probably something more you want to find a specialist online for. Anyway, uh, next story mode yours. All right. Um, I guess we don't really have a dedicated cutback in, so I guess just whenever. All right, well, you know what, fuck it. I'll leave this off, I guess, if you're okay with that. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Yes? You know, for as good, for as progressive as they are about all the gay jokes in Basra, some things really don't uh, don't stand the test of time as well. I hope you're ready for fact jokes and food jokes and he likes to eat. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, that is, uh, that is unfortunately the case. Voyage by Tony Oliver, but that doesn't really make it any better. By the way, ignore the rampant amount of trophies popping right now. We have migrated the save file to my PS3, and it worked, and we had to deal with an install, luckily. Not nice difficulty. Uh, and now also the collection, it's just popping a lot of trophies on mine. And it's still going. It's probably not going to stop. I wish the thing I could go into the menu right now and actually look at specific trophies and have it say, oh yeah, no, you're going to pop like 35. Probably. Now, it's funny. If I were to actually um set my PS3 up on the internet, it would probably actually sync all these trophies with my, my account. Ugh. Do you get it? I think he likes food, guys. I can't tell. Did you remember that his weapon is literally a walk? No. This might be specifically a power issue. This is something I have seen before. Maybe unplug the brick again. Plug it back in. Well, not like you're missing much with this one anyway. Darkness imprisoning me, all that I see, absolute horror. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Bob here from the future. And I'd just like to quickly mention that whatever problems brand things we currently have with the M Classic, it's about to get way worse. I'm genuinely amazed we did not scrap this recording, actually. It's about to get really bad. Enjoy. This is something I actually have seen happen before at my old apartment, where for some reason it'll flicker Whew. or not work for a bit, and then... You plug, unplug it and plug the brick back in, actually power cycle it, and then it decides it's going to work until you're done. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind everyone that currently in attendance that the PS3 is about to turn 18 years old. And uh, with that comes the fact that the hardware itself has been not really been aging up too well. So as a result, uh, issues like this is exactly why emulation is a, is a thing. Because game companies will tell you that this is a non-issue and you should just buy their product anyway when it's going through rapid hardware failure. Sasuke is always fun. You can rely on Sasuke. Oh, God damn it! Why did I have Sasuke pair up with Sasuke? <laughs> that would have been funny. Yeah. Fuck. Ow. Especially if you follow YouTubers that make dumb jokes. Yeah, right? I'm starting to think this might be the last PS3 game we do for a little bit. I report. Mmm. True. Yeah. By then. We, well, I will stall for time with other games. Do not worry about that. No, I'm just gonna have to buy a new one in general anyway. I, I uh, reconciled that a while ago. That's fair. Mm. Now, despite all the shit we've been talking about this character, and before someone uh, links us to some dumb, bro broken tech he has that actually makes him one of the best characters in the game, it tends to happen. But that being said, though, I, I, I don't have a lot of optimism about that, personally speaking. 
I think he also heals. I would hope for a character whose gimmick is food. Yeah. His weapons are different, are walks that have different these His ultimate weapon here is the walk that sees with uh, habanero pepper. That's true. It does look really fucking cool, to be fair. Yeah. Like, I will say that. That being said, though, well, I wonder what his joke weapon looks like, considering we have a joke character, and I'm not sure if the joke character has jo has the joke weapon yet. Okay. <laughs> Kinda cute. Okay, that move does seem like it'd be pretty decent to run through, like literally speed run through stages. It get fast. It seems to be noticeably getting faster, but even then, just having an active hitbox running over a lot of other dudes, that would probably not be too bad of an idea. Yeah. Oh, this stage is one of those ones that is short but can be kind of annoying. Look at that man's elbow. Damn. That, he has one model. Almost there. What would that be? We're going to play this stage in 4x3. <laughs> okay. You know what? It's not like much quality is being lost with him anyway. This is a PS3 game. That runs in 720p, by which we actually mean uh, 576p. Yeah. What are you really? How much better is that than 480? Or we could show it as natural, full glory, full 720p. You know, you you say that jokingly, but honestly, literally, this is looking better than if we just did the raw 720 up. This is still somewhat cleaner. What if I just take this footage and just edit it into 16 by 9? <laughs> Am I actually that fucking stupid? I might just do that. Do that for like a minute to see uh, if that would actually work and how it would look. Because there is actually a bit of crunch here in the screen. You can sort of tell which UI element. Yeah, that is true. Well, imagine if it's just like a straight uh, crunch of the screen. Uncrunching it should be totally fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about window box in the cutscene. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. It sort of feels like uh, playing the PSP adapter. It feels like when I got my first And with PS models like this, it is like using the PSP adapter. It feels like when you first get a PS2, so in how like Final Fantasy X has like cutscenes in 16x9, and it'll letterbox the fuck out of it because of the 4x3 screens back in the day. You know the funny thing about that 16x9 option in Final Fantasy XII? Yeah. That's not actually real. It's just a stretch. They actually couldn't get the game running at a real 16 by 9. Really? Yeah, because the game was all was already uh, stressing the PS2 as much as, enough as it is. It had something called a capacity limit where spells would actually be delayed until other effects on screen had ended because if yep. there were too many spell effects, it literally uh, would overload the, the game and crash. So I actually don't think I ever really got addressed in the future versions because... Yes, it did. That was taken out of uh, Zodiac Age. Damn, because that was very funny. One very funny strat you can do is just to have characters constantly using uh, one character on back using Scathe. Because Scathe has like a super long animation of charging up a, be a beam and firing it. You can actually delay, uh, force other like mage enemies to not never use magic by just spamming Scathe and let your <laughs> melee power house just go to town. <laughs> Actual tactic. Yeah, there's still some novelty in original 12, even if it doesn't. Do oh, hey, it's the, it's the husband. How about that? Nagamasa? Uh, I think. Wait, no. No, he's definitely dead. Yeah, you can see it crunched in the Moto Chica icon there. That is supposed to be wider. Ah. That's not supposed to be the shape of a dog tag. That's supposed to be a, uh, a rectangle uh, type of thing. Not to be well, I'll see what I can do. Believe me, it's no skin off my ass if this is what it takes to get work. Or at least just for this character specifically. Because really, you're not much, missing much of, of, of note with him anyway. No, this story is entirely a joke. I am concerned now, though, that I wonder if M Classics actually do have a shelf life. I would hope not, but that wouldn't surprise me. There's not too much to worry about because since they were released, I've been seeing Linus uh, reviewing a lot more um, various upscalers around out there. So I, we do have options to work with if we do need to replace all the M Classics. If for some reason they just, there's like a hardware failure rate. So if what you're talking about is uh, that 
4K uh, gamer thing. That thing only uh, pay, only upscales to 4K or 1440K if you're feeding it a proper uh, 1080p signal. So if you're doing a game that only goes up to 720, it'll just output a 720 without even upscaling it. I actually wasn't talking about anything specifically, but I, there ha there was something recently he reviewed that I did look at that was more so used to um, properly upscale like interlace uh, like old consoles onto a TV screen with like barely any input delay at all. Hmm. But no, I know there's like something called the Retro Master going around right retro now. Retro Tink. Retro Tink, I th maybe, yeah. I thought it was Retro Master. There's also other things too, like we could use in order to force an upscale. Retro Tink is an upscaler for analog consoles specifically and that's one of those ones where you are not going to buy into that investment because that investment is four hundred dollars for an upscaler for like the Super Nintendo or your PS2. Yeah. I'm just saying there is a market now so hopefully there's at least some other product out there we can utilize. Oh and it's we're chasing her again. Oh boy. We're not actually. Oh good. That was hell the first time. <laughs> We're waiting for this stage annoyingly until that meter gets filled because uh, they're trying to build a bridge to the boss. Hmm. And our guys are trying to break it or something. I don't know what the deal is, but this is going to take a few minutes. All right. Since we've already cleared out basically everything we can do. So I guess just bullshit about whatever if you like. There's not really anything else going on. I think you could make this stage faster if you were to use the the, the um that one attack in order to uh just roll across the whole stage. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually yeah. falls on his back, it's hilarious. To be honest, I forgot I had that. <laughs> oh, they eventually do. Oh, maybe that is actually okay. There's something. Although it looks like if you collab with anything, it just immediately disintegrates. That might not be the best. It, uh, it breaks apart and it does uh, pinball around enemies. It doesn't immediately dissolve. Yeah. Oh, they get eaten by it. Oh, yeah. That's actually really convenient. And it does residual damage too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If only the recovery wasn't so long though, but damn, that's pretty. Okay, he might have some good use. Hell yeah. It really did a fucking goofy ass noise we did that just now. Awesome. I forgot that uh, they apply sound effects to your drill weapon. I didn't know it did that. That's really fucking funny. Okay. Uh, please thing activate. So what's going on in your world? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, well, I recently got to Red Ranks in Tekken 8. I'm very happy about that fact, given the game just recently launched and, uh, my training in Tekken 7 online and that hellscape that was last year to game's lifespan turned out to be pretty fruitful, so I'm very glad about that fact. Nice. Hoping I can eventually push up the proper ranks where people really start to consider you good at the game. That would be pretty cool. Mm. Other stuff. Um, well... Any good anime? Well, Dragon Ball Kai, I can tell you that's been definitely very fun as of late. Uh, as far oh, as yeah. as far as other anime, well, I've been remembering that I got eventually finished Fate Grand Order. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, other stuff. Mmm, so, some slice of life anime. I mean to pick up like uh, excuse me, Rascal does not dream of a rabbit. Um, there's some other stuff. Uh, Bochy to rock. Oh yeah, I should watch that too. Yeah, my anime watching schedule recently just been completely occupied by Dragon Ball Kai. I guess theoretically, it's not that bad, not that big of a problem considering um, Kai is a great watch. Yeah, Kai is indeed a great watch. And I just got to fit, uh, luckily it's also being into my commentary for Attack of the Sands, so it's pretty decent. I can, uh, totally utilize that. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, yep. Hmm, other anime stuff as of late. Not really too much going on right now. There's a bunch of things I do need to catch up with at any given time, naturally. I got to get back on the One Piece in order to re reacclimate myself with it for when we get back to doing, redoing Burning Blood. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have to worry about the Elm Classic for the PS5, that's for sure. Please let me in. Hmm. Anything else? Uh. I've been watching. Uh. 
I know you've been playing Persona 3, but I don't think it translates into watching any anime for it recently. I mean, at some point, I should probably watch the uh, Persona 3 movies they made for Yeah. Them. I only watched the first one. It was okay, I guess. I have them download. I have some downloaded because they were posted wholesale to YouTube, so I just downloaded them wholesale. But, yeah, I never really had an interest in watching them. I should maybe eventually consider watching more Persona anime, but I know it's literally all downhill after you get to, like, the first batch of Persona Finally 4. Happening. Oh, yeah. We're just waiting for something to trigger? Yes. Okay. Um. Chat, you have any uh, good anime suggestions as of late? I need to watch the Persona 5 anime. It's one of those things everyone says fucking trash don't watch but actually watch because the dub is golden oh hell yeah well, the, that's something i'll have to do eventually the uh context aside also hearing michelle ruff boys a hot teacher would be pretty nice <laughs> hey it's relevant to twitter bullshit again people are upset. as always people are upset about uh persona teachers because persona teachers have exactly two modes uh, pedophile and uh, freak you would turn away from in the streets, which could also apply to pedophiles, but not specifically in this game. Yeah. Person, uh, Persona 3 has a feature you end up uh, fucking because they're grooming you in an MMO. Oh, great. They're, bu uh, they're buying you all, all of your Discord Nitro. Yeah, this is back in the day where uh, boys hitting uh, uh, or making moves on older women was seen as kind of cool still. When in reality, it's not because boys should not be uh, engaging in relations with women 10 years older than them. Really? Persona 4 has a teacher that shows up halfway through the game that's uh, hitting on you all the time, but yeah. you treat it as a joke. Yeah. So, like, they're sort of playing that straight. You know what? He actually fits very well in 4x3. This is a very 4x3 character. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah. Uh, you know, the 4 by 3 almost makes us nostalgic in a sort of way. It really does. It really brings me back to my youth of playing a PS2 game. No, you know what it is? This is what playing a PS2 game actually outputting through component cables in 480p would look like. True. Yeah, we got this is the immersion factor, actually. Loki uh, planned that from the beginning. Totally. I'm starting to actually have a theory. I wonder what, what's happening because M Classic might be overheating or something. Because it started. PS3 is running real hot. That wouldn't surprise me. Actually. Okay, mine's mine doesn't really turn into a jet engine that often. But like, I wonder if it's more so like a data pass through of it as well. That I wonder if maybe that isn't like a concern. Because it's, it's totally fine here. In fact, it's been fine here for a while now. Trying to face off Patrick Sides. Absolutely, my sons of bitches. Get back here. I know. Fuck it. One of. Okay, maybe this might be a stretch, but one. One of my absolute favorite roles for Patrick. And I love... He's... Patrick brought me one of my favorite voice actors, period, actually. He def when he's not replacing someone else's character, yes, he definitely does have that. Oh, yeah. Like, Frankie. Um, to, yeah. his, to a certain capacity, the dad from My Hero. He does pretty good at that, despite uh, not... Endeavor. Endeavor, yeah. He That's, like, his really good straight role. Ragged yeah. in the Blood Edge for being in a very hilarious sometimes. Ishii. Ishi oh, God, yeah, Ishin too. Yeah, his fuck. Kenpa his Kenpachi got good a decade later. It yeah. was not good to start. You've what? experienced that now. Yes, I have. It was literally um, like what happened when Funimation took up dubbing Dragon Ball Z from Ocean, where Chris Abbott was basically just doing a Brian Drummond impression, a bad I one at that. I listened to some of those clips. He's doing a Lizard Man voice for his uh, Vegeta early on. He really is. Yeah. It's endearing, but also terrible. Real good. Yeah. And oh my, his Scott McNeil is way worse than his Brian Drummond. Oh yeah. As Piccolo. Yeah, the, the Piccolo was very rough. I kind of almost deal with the Vegeta voice because it's like charming in a sort of way, but the Piccolo voice was bad for a long time. I will. I say that as uh, he, as. Well, yeah, definitely Chris Abbott stand for sure, but yeah. no, like in general, it was bad for a while I would go so far as to say his piccolo wasn't good until the, they started dubbing the boo saga so that took I would think not. so that took, I don't want to go that that long later video yeah uh, yeah 
tank I cheat who went on. Yeah, I can I can feel that. But when he started to really nestle into the deeper voice. When he settled into it instead of being on edge all the time. Yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna say Actually no, I wanna know what uh Scott McNeil's I can wit, I can feel great, I can't do this. You know like dude, one of my bucket list things is actually watching the entirety of Dragon Ball Z in Ocean Dub because that is that, out there. That torrent you found I think actually has the full ocean dub. Holy fuck, really? It has it has uh like five audio tracks. Oh my, that is gonna be something. The only thing that's gonna suck about doing that though is like they go through like five teen Gohans and all of them are bad. It's not uh, no? There's at least one change of team Gohan himself. I think it, it was they had a different one for young Gohan. And there's a dip and then Brad Swale is adult Gohan. Which actually It might be your favorite. It might it might be my favorite, yeah. If you hear it, you might agree. If, I can see how it would work for him up in elf fight food. I don't feel it's menacing or deep. No, uh, yeah. And, uh, when he's fight, uh, when he's fighting, uh, it um doesn't resonate as well. No, that's totally fair. I feel, I see that. Also, Kyle does Ultimate Gohan really fucking well. So that is, that is a very hard high bar to meet. So I I I miss um. Damien uh, Gohan. He oh only, my god, tell me about it. He only did it the once, but he did it really good the one time. Damien Clark, I I need to hear him in Water Force roles, and of course, unfortunately, the only really other big one is that, what, Tony character, whatever, from Borderlands? I don't, um, know. I don't fucking know. Hans, uh, handsome Han Jack. Handsome Jack, that's it, yeah. Well, if you... I'm gonna make you watch the... Oh, does that, does that have an intro, a cutscene intro, I think? No. Uh, I'm gonna make you watch the original Full Metal Alchemist before we watch Brotherhood, so you uh, can see how uh, fast the contrast is. Yeah. He, uh, so he actually, plays, hold, uh, he plays Scar in the hold original up. Full Metal Alchemist. Hold on for one second, he paused. So, do you want to try putting it back in widescreen? Like, give it a shot. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. It's definitely. It's very stable in four by three, definitely. But I wonder, like, what would happen if we actually push it back up now? Or power draw that maybe now it'll work uh, better. I'm not sure. All right, we're in okay. We are in 2K now. So also, yeah. Sorry, chat. Oh my god, I've, I got so used with this feels. Like, <laughs> this feels like uh, your TV stretch mode. Oh my god, tell me about it. You, especially in the menu, you can see this. This looks like this. Yeah. Be push. Actually, now that I'm thinking about, it, I think there might actually be a degree of hardware failure going on with the Elm Classic in general. That's so, that's so weird. I'll have to look into this later. I've never seen anyone else post it. Yeah, okay, so it's only on a TV screen. I haven't seen it on a capture yet, unless I maybe, maybe zoom in super hard, but there is like the green dots appearing in like certain contrast zones. Is it more than just uh, the area if where you go uh, the money screen was? If you go back to the pause screen, it's visible on the top oh, there. Yeah. But That's it, where it was before originally, so I think it might just be that part of the it's either that part of the screen or it's that specific type of white and black or that level of luminescence i guess yeah i see it on gameplay sometimes but not often that's just incredibly weird though excuse me yeah do give everyone a point of comparison right now sorry we're i don't want to dwell so much on this when we're doing a let's play but given how prevalent it's been right now and how it's allowing us to actually play this in a reasonable quality it kind of does warrant talking about it at, at length. So, Bray and I have two M classics, one between the both of us. Um, I had one and he had one. We were using it for our Switches. Brandon moved up here last year and he brought the M classic with him. And it had seen some, apparently, it was a little bit of damage in transit or at some point along the line. I dropped at one point and one of the outer shells came off, and, but it was still working. Yeah. That, it didn't start to have this bad of a problem until I got. Yeah, and it's apparently been working pretty well for the Switch in general, so that hasn't really been an issue at all. But only with, only with this game, maybe it's because we haven't booted a PS3 up in a while, or something specifically about the PS3. It's really been giving us the shits in terms of trying to actually run with it. I don't know. I have multiple theories as to why it is. Maybe HTC... Right? That's hilarious, actually. Maybe HTCP, maybe something to do specifically with like PS3 output. Maybe it was it was a, a bad wire, a bad HDMI cable, something like that. My, one of my initial guesses was correct, where we 
change HDMI cables than that did fix initially, fix initially. But then we were getting it badly during um, the last story mode we just did. So I have m numbers of, and then we try to switch to, to we changed PS3s, we changed the M Classic, and it's still happening. So I wonder. I have a couple of theories as to what's going to go on right now. Maybe it's something specifically about the PS3 that it just does not like. Maybe it's um, uh, maybe there's an actual like hardware failure rate for the M Classic after a certain amount of time because I have not touched mine in literal years and it's been sitting in a shelf as barely moved. I haven't touched it since I moved in 2021. I did read something <clears throat> on one Reddit thread about how the PS3 has a very weird uh, HDMI signal in general and how it actually has a lower power draw than modern consoles than Switch even. Yeah. So it might just uh, not be appropriate for it. Yeah, because we've recorded even a bunch of Switch games using it and it never gave us crap once. I've had a couple issues with Biome Classic before, but I think that was just because of weird wiring and just not okay, not occasionally not designed to work. Her tits are jiggling. I'm just noticing that. They've always done that. I've never noticed them underneath the corset, though. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's how that would do. I mean, yeah, I just didn't think the MC Farmer Glide Engine could do that. <laughs> if I'm being real, that's better juggle for because there's a thing I've seen in a lot of games, actually. Maybe huh? just because of how underplayed it is. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I'm just remembering um, the. People hack the Wii version to get cheat codes and stuff working more specifically in the emulator, but you yeah. can actually do it on Wii and on uh, Wii U by a USB loader. Uh -huh. And one of the codes that uh, is in there is Nude Magoichi. And what they mean by that, because of course that's not real, is just change every texture on her body to be uh, the same color as her skin. Yeah. Because she's, she's still fully dressed. She's still wearing the skirt. It's just flesh colored. Listen, man. It's I, like, you guys are really this hard up for porn. Listen, man. I have seen more than a few Zero Suit Samus nude mods in Brawl that just look like actual dog shit. That I expect literally nothing from a Wii in terms of getting a, even a remote reaction at me. All right, but at the same time, at least, that's a skin-tight bodysuit. This character is still wearing clothes, is still wearing the corset, it still yeah. has oh, I know. slap of fabric. Frankly, that's very funny in general. I mean, cute. Yeah, it is funny. Damn, this move is kind of decent. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn it. I almost wanted to see what that was like. How are you going to clash your walk with her? Oh, gun? hey, she used ultimate here, too. Uh, if you can combo into it. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Is literally Kirby's uh, final smash from Brawl in 4? Uh, just Brawl? I think they already changed it. Oh, to, yeah, yeah. I think you're they right. They changed it to the sword from Return to Land. Yeah, you're right. By 4. I'm going to be honest. I miss uh, Brawl's uh, smashes more than any other. I think they actually had some of the better ones. I think they were pretty creative sometimes. Sometimes. I like Negative Zone better than the Poltergeist. It's just very funny that they literally just gave him a wild though, for, like out of nowhere, and giving Ram Sass Fuchsin too is very funny. Yeah, that uh, the two, uh, the two inch kick. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, are we just talking about Luigi's moveset right now? I think we are. No, I mean uh, various final smashes in general. Um, Where's the two inch kick come from? The when you do his down taunt is oh, uh, yeah. the little heel kick. Oh, that's what we're talking when about. You do, when you do that on an enemy inside the negative zone, if they take massive damage and die. Oh, I didn't know that happens. Holy shit. Yeah, they get punted easily. Huh. Okay. Um uh Pitts final smash also being the summoning the waves of uh, Okay, not gonna lie, I do like the Smash War version of that one actually. <laughs> 